Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex and today I'm going to show y'all how to do the Tunisian double crochet. The Tunisian double crochet is a really neat stitch because depending on where you insert your hook, the texture will vary. The swatch on the left was crocheted by inserting the hook just like for a Tunisian knit stitch, but the swatch on the right, the hook was inserted just like for a Tunisian simple stitch. See how similar the textures are, but there are subtle differences. After watching this video, I encourage y'all to practice this stitch and experiment with this stitch to get the look you desire. Also, if you would like to try a pattern using this stitch, my Tunisian Rainbow Moon Wall Hanging is a perfect beginner project. With minimal color changes and only using the Tunisian Double Crochet, this project is a great one to practice the Tunisian Double Crochet. Link to the free pattern is below. Today I'm using Sugar and Cream Yarn from Mary Maxim. It is a medium four weight yarn. I'm also using my King Snake Tunisian Hook by Furls Crochet. It is a size H. 5 millimeter crochet hook. You can also practice this stitch with a regular crochet hook that has no handle. Now let's get started. I have already chained 16 chains and now I'm ready to begin my first Tunisian double crochet. We will work the first Tunisian double crochet into the third chain from the hook. Yarn over Insert the hook into that third chain from the hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through only the first two loops on the hook and that is a Tunisian double crochet. Let's try that again. Yarn over Insert the hook into the next chain, yarn over, and pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through only the first two loops on the hook. I'm going to finish this forward pass now, and then when I get to the end, I will check back in with you. I have now finished the forward pass and I'm ready for the return pass. We will be making a normal return pass. Yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. Now keep yarning over and pulling through two loops on the hook until one loop remains on the hook. When I get to the end of the return pass, I will check back in with you and then I will show you how to work the next forward pass. Now that I have finished the return pass, I am ready to begin the next forward pass. Chain 1 Normally the loop on the hook counts as the first stitch of the forward pass, but this stitch is a bit taller than other Tunisian stitches, so we will chain one to bring that stitch up higher. Yarn over. Now we are going to insert the hook into the next stitch, and this is where the magic happens. Depending on how you insert the hook, the texture will change. For example, you could insert your hook just like for a Tunisian simple stitch. But, since my favorite stitch is the Tunisian Knit Stitch, that is how I'm inserting my hook. Insert the hook between the front and back vertical bars, yarn over, and pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through only the first two loops on the hook. And that is the Tunisian Double Crochet Stitch. For more Tunisian video tutorials and guides, check out the links below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment on this video or you can also email me and my email is below. If you liked this video, please give it a huge thumbs up or a share on social media and subscribe for more videos. I hope you all have a lovely day. Until next time, bye and happy crocheting.